Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Unbox Boys! I'm Dave, and today we've got a special episode for you because we're teaming up with Doodog from Doodog Reviews going coast to coast, Oregon to Georgia, for a couple of reviews here for you, for you Avengers fans and Marvel Legends fans. We've got Falcon, the Marvel Legends. This is the Walmart exclusive on that. And we also have War Machine from Marvel Legends as well. So we're going to check both of these out as we uh, review with Doodog Reviews. So let's get to that review of Falcon. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Doodog with Doodog Reviews. Back again with the Unbox Boys. Yes, second video is going to be phenomenal. Make sure y'all check these guys out, man. You don't want to miss the content that they have so it's going to be phenomenal and let's get to this thing this is the walmart exclusive movie the civil war falcon i'm just going to hand it over to these guys man and uh, let them go over the box for you folks well thanks man it's nice to be coast to coast we're uh, here in oregon you over there in uh, in georgia it's nice <laughs> oh, georgia yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the Walmart exclusive. Now, I know this probably looks backwards to you guys. This is not a misprint or a variant. It's just our camera. I don't know why it's doing it. We're learning. It's technology. I don't know. But uh, you can see that it's a Walmart exclusive Marvel's Falcon uh, there based on the Anthony Mackie cinema figure. We like the cinema figures, probably even a little more in the comic book figures. On top, you've got the, uh, the uh, Captain America logo there, Anthony Mackie on the side. And then on the back, uh, a nice little right up there. And since you probably don't read in reverse, it says a defender of justice, Falcon soars into battle, armed with his XO7 wings and Red Wing drone. And I'll just pull it out so I you can see. I love how uh, Hasbro is incorporating those really nice photos on the back of yeah. the new pack. Yeah, it's a photo of the figure, but kind of a way that you can pose it. It's kind of nice. And uh, pulling it out of the pack, just you can see a little better which uh, accessories it comes with. Uh, of course, you've got him, and then this backpack, uh, along with uh, kind of a, a plate that goes over that, and the little drone uh, Red Wing, however you feel about uh, that being a drone versus an actual bird, and then the wings. <laughs> and then the wings uh, come with that as well. So, why don't you give a review while we put ours together? All right. So, yeah, speaking of the uh, wings, it's a pretty awesome wing now uh, for a six inch scale uh, action figure. And basically, what you do is you there's there's four pegs right here, and the wings will clip onto that, and then this backpack kind of pops on on the back right there. Now. Well, something I added personally, this is, does not come with the package, unfortunately, but I just added a couple little guns, man. Those of y'all Marvel Legends collectors out there, you probably got a few of these laying around. And uh, he has some awesome trigger fingers. Yeah. Guess what? He can actually hold a gun, <laughs> unlike Punisher. What? You would think somebody like Punisher would come with trigger fingers, but <laughs> epic fell on that. But anyway, this guy... <laughs> actually can hold his gun isn't that just amazing and actually pull the trigger so i don't know that's one of my pets well, he can hold a gun but he doesn't come with any guns <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 you're right so yeah not only does he have the trigger but he doesn't even have the guns with him i don't know man hasbro's thinking sometimes just blows my mind so let's go over uh paint apps first paint to be honest for this thing to be an exclusive it's uh, it's kind of bland, honestly. Mm -hmm. Let's just be real. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so much amazing sculpt on this guy. Like, his jeans are sculpted. His shirt's sculpted. R very nicely sculpted uh, gloves and all that. But yet, they just kind of left it molded plastic. You know, you might have a little bit of paint here on the, the shoes. You got a little bit of red there. You got some red outlines there. Um, they did paint a couple of buckles. So, you know, I give them props on that. That's always good. And then the the uh, goggles right here that he's wearing, they painted those thankfully, and they, those are sculpted on by the way. They're not removable or anything like that. It would it would have been cool there again since it was ex it is an exclusive to come with like an interchangeable head um, without the goggles on. Mm -hmm. But there you go. Or you just have, have the goggles like uh, just as a piece itself. Yeah, removable Whatever. goggles. Yeah. That, that would have been that you know that would have been awesome. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, really that's literally all the paint besides the wings themselves these will pop off as the 
unbox boys to show you on a second and you can kind of put it on as a backpack and honestly in the midst of my um fodder bins and fodder boxes or whatever i actually lost my little red wing so i'm gonna let these guys <laughs> take it up right here to show y'all a better view of him okay take it away. did you go fishing with that thing Trina? Well, you know, I could. <laughs> the fact is, what they didn't know was he was hanging from the ceiling on fishing line. So there you go. No fun. <laughs> All right. Literally. <laughs> Well, the uh, the Red Wing itself here, I know it's going to be hard to see in this tiny window that we've got here, but uh, it kind of uh, is comparable to the paint on the uh, figure itself. It's mostly just a gray piece of plastic with some red splashed over the top there. Uh, it's pretty pretty flexible, actually. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty pliable. It's not real solid, at least on the wing part there. So uh, for what it's worth, if you're not going to get a, a real bird and he's got to use a drone anyway, I guess it's it's comparable to what the... The figure is so. If you're let, let down with the paint apps on the figure, you're probably gonna be let down with the paint apps <laughs> on the uh, on the uh, Falcon here as well on the uh, Red Wing rather. But uh, yeah, overall, it's uh, I agree with you. I think uh, I think uh, as we've mentioned before, you know, a, a, a little battle damage, a little weathering uh, is always a nice touch. Uh, he's he's looking pretty squeaky clean here, but uh, you posing with the guns. I'm gonna have to get some guns, or I may just pose them in a battle with the uh, the small Ant Man figure that kind of came with that other Ant Man. That'd be cool. <laughs> if you want me to, you want to go over articulation real quick. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, articulation. I mean, it's your standard Marvel Legends, which is always amazing. You, you normally you have at least thirty points of articulation, which is always good. The cool thing about him um, that oh, just a little. Uh, tip out there if you're into Marvel Selects by the way obviously theirs looks awesome but you cannot get the Marvel Select into this flying pose because his actual feet don't bend down like this guy so I give Marvel Legends props on that right there so if you're into that thing you'll know a huge difference as far as articulation is concerned so it comes with the ankle pivot ankle rocker double jointed knees uh, upper thigh swivel got some pretty good splits going on right there Sadly, why this Falcon, why can he do a better split than Spider-Man? I mean, come on, Spider-Man, <laughs> he's so limber. But there again, another pet peeve of mine, but uh, got some waist articulation. Anytime you hear that ab crunch click, you know it's really awesome. So there you go, head, guess what? He's a flying, well, mine's stuck, there we go. Hit you, well, look at that, there's a blooper for you. His <laughs> head just pops off. So his head can literally get in that flying pose that you want so you know which is always good uh double jointed elbows shoulder articulation which i don't think mine yeah it doesn't i don't want to break it obviously but if you squeeze it up under here you can actually get it straight out like you're supposed to so just be very careful you don't want that to snap, obviously. That's pretty much it. So he's pretty much super articulate. And his head keeps falling off. <laughs> but uh, anyway, back to y'all. All right. Don't lose your head there. <laughs> See if they can handle this thing better than I can, no. obviously. So, uh, actually, we're just piecing it together right now. It's a little tricky. you got to get the wings on and then that backpack to kind of hold it in there. But, uh, yeah, overall a good figure. And, uh, Dew Dog, it's a pleasure to do this with you. And as uh, we figure out technology a little better, maybe we can do this again <laughs> and uh, enjoy some more reviews for sure. If you want to see the review that we did together of uh, War Machine, you're going to have to go over to Do Dog Reviews channel uh, on YouTube here. It's an awesome channel. Lots of great reviews, lots of fun, some customs on there as well. Uh, so you can check that out in the description below. Uh, but I think we pretty much uh, covered Falcon here. Well, guys, I just want to thank y'all for inviting me over. I think it's a great thing. I hope all the fans, both of, both of our fans, really enjoy this. If y'all do, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments below what what do you want us to see that. Yeah, I'm getting tongue-tied. Do you want to see us do this more often? Because I'm having a pretty good time. So I don't know. I just hope the fans are, too. If you are, just let us know. Awesome. All right. Dude, all right. Thanks, dude, dog. Till next time. God bless, everybody. You got it together. Yeah. <laughs>